Hi everyone, this is Rick Cowan, Beautiful Beast of Softball with Haley Sonka from San Antonio, Texas. How you doing, Haley? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I trust you had a good Christmas? Oh yes, for sure, spent time with my grandma and my siblings. Well, good deal. Hey, thanks for taking the call today and being a part of you know Beautiful Beast Nation first and foremost, but the reason why I wanted to reach out to you was to talk to you about your commitment and give you congratulations. Uh, I would like to ask you kind of how that happened. What was the process? How did you get on the radar, you know, vice versa? Can you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, sure. So first of all, thank you. Um, so my process with St. Edwards started um, just by going to a random camp at St. Edwards. I didn't know anything about the school, the coaches, the program. I just went because I like Austin and it was D2 and I was like, why not? So I went and then the coaches liked me and then I went to more camps and they were like, we really like you. Saw them at other camps, went on campus tours at the camps, really started liking the school and emailing them and tagging them and stuff and just reaching out, trying to build that communication level. And then uh, they had a coaching change from head coach. They got a new one. So I had to introduce myself to her. And then she really liked me. And then I went to one camp and they were like, we'll call you on June 15th when the D2 can actually talk to you. And then they called me. They were like, hey, we're really interested. Um, Want to get to know you more. Here's some stuff about St. Edwards. Do you like it? Just kind of general stuff about the school so I can know more from what they say. And then I just went to more camps. They saw me play a few times. And then I went on my unofficial visit. And then I got my offer. Okay. And so much of what we try to do is just, you know, add just a small bit to the exposure that you guys get. But how, how important is it to you, um, you know, from being on social media and the use of Twitter and things like that to get your name out there? Yeah, so Twitter is, I would say, the second thing along like, that coaches would look at, you know, first being like your sports recruit or your main recruiting profile. So they would go to emails and stuff, obviously. And then they would obviously go to your Twitter to see how you are as a person, how professional, like what you're, what you're liking and what you're tweeting. And if you're like showing how much you're portraying as a player, how much you're working daily, how much you're involved in your process, how much you want it can really show a lot from a Twitter profile. Yeah, outstanding. And give us a tidbit. What's Haley's perspective and feedback for girls just like you that are still out there kind of trusting the process? Well, it's very, it's very long. You know, others, everybody's is different. So I would like, if I was telling a little girl growing up trying to get recruited, I would tell her to focus on what you want and not compare your process to somebody else's process. Because if you, like, if you compare it and you don't even have the same interest in schools like level or size or city or state, and you're comparing that and it's not even what you want, you're just going to get down on yourself and it's pointless. So I would just say to focus on what you really are looking for and then make it happen. <laughs> and what is going to be your major? You know, it's the other part of it is, is what you want to study and making sure the school has kind of the degree plan, right? Yes. Yeah, so I... Um, I have about three that I'm looking into, but I'm not totally like focused on one just because I don't really know yet. Um, either environmental science, political science, or business is the three that I'm looking at. No, outstanding choices. I think it'll be successful uh, <laughs> in, in any of those. And you know, I do coach a smaller uh, age group, the, the 12 U level. What would you say to those girls that are not in the recruiting process, but just the use of social media and things like that. What's the do's and don'ts from your perspective? Well, I would think a lot about what you put on social media or what you're liking, especially because Twitter shows that too. Um, I always, when I was starting, I was always like, before you click that like or that retweet or that comment button, like think like what I did, I was like, would I want my grandma seeing this? Would I want a coach I was looking at to see this? And you just have to really be picky with what you like, because if that's the first thing they see, they're gonna, it's automatically going to be a, oh, no, maybe not. Maybe she's not too mature yet. So I'd just be really cautious with what you're putting out there and then just make it fun. You know, they don't want to read a bunch of just the same old stuff and 
tagging, I would definitely tag the softball programs instead of tagging the coaches just so their stuff doesn't get flooded. That's something I learned. Um, and just videos here and there, pictures here and there, fun stuff. It doesn't all have to be softball, but your family, your life, anything else you're doing, school events, just keep it you. Yeah, outstanding. That's, that's great advice because, you know, sometimes, you know, you can inundate a coach's inbox, um, yes. you know, their personal inboxes. And, and, and my goodness, you know, it can, it can be overwhelming for them just to kind of sift through it all. Yes. But, you know, that's a good, it's a good thing. And then it gives the coach the opportunity to reach out and follow you. They see that you tag, you know, their program and they're like, Hey, I need a kid. Hey, what is your position? What, what positions do you play? What's your primary and secondary position? My primary is middle infield. So I'm shortstop second base. And then my secondary is outfield, anywhere outfield. Gotcha. Yeah. And I was trying to recall, um, when I came and saw your games, was it in the San Antonio area or was it? Yeah, I know, right? That's been a minute. Or was it? <laughs> that was the, where was it? it was the beginning of the summer. We were at the scrapyards in Houston Woodlands area. That was like June, July, right when Corona almost shut us down. <laughs> yeah, I do recall. Hey, on behalf of Beautiful Beast Nation, thank you for being exactly who you are, Haley. Um, just a wonderful, impeccable young lady. Thank Wish you, you nothing but success in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Have a blessed day and give a shout out to your parents for me, okay? <laughs> I will. All right. Bye-bye.